team uh, really had great belief headed into Ohio State in tonight. And I, I think that's 75, 80% of the battle is believing in what you do, believing in one another, playing for each other, and being great teammates. And, and I feel like we did that tonight. We defended really well. Uh, we gave up some offensive rebounds there in the second half, but for the most most part, we got timely ones. And then I thought our seniors stepped up. You know, I talked to Curtis before I put him in, and I said, uh, you know, these, these moments are made for seniors. And it's your time, because I didn't play him that much in the first half. And he really stepped up in a big way when they started making the run. Uh, so I'm really proud of our group for coming in here, and we know how difficult it is to get a win on the road uh, in any place like Michigan. It's always hard. So proud of our guys. Go ahead and start here. Uh, is there anything different mechanically that Curtis did tonight? Or do you think it's a, a matter of attitude and mindset? I agree with you. That last, those two words. I, I think it's attitude. I think it's mindset, and then the belief. I think from the head coach, the staff, and, and his teammates. Um, we have great belief in him, and, uh, and he played with that type of confidence and swagger. Coach Cannon here, it seemed like you were going to let Xavier kind of do his thing, but kind of shut everybody else down. Was that part of your game plan? Kind of, <laughs> yes, that sounds silly. To Simpson say, is time. one of my favorite players uh, of all time, not just in this league for the last four years, of all time. I recruited him for a minute. Um, he's just terrific. He's a maestro with the ball. We were just trying to do the best we could uh, against him and, 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 again, get to get to their shooters, and, and we did that tonight. But he, he is so good at what he does and getting everybody involved and uh, making everybody around him better. Uh, so I would say a little bit of both. You know, at certain points of the game, we tried to mix in uh, different defenses to, to just keep him off balance, and I thought we did a, a pretty good job tonight. Patrick, at this point, it almost feels like every game kind of has like a postseason type energy to it, and it's late January. Like, what is the challenge right now of having to get up to a certain level every single time? And out? staying there, right? You know, we, we get a week off here, and I'm almost uh, disappointed that we have a week off here. I think we're starting to play our best basketball heading into February, and then we have some time off. Now we do have some guys bumped and bruised. Some guys are really nicked up, so it is a good time for that. I think it's our approach as coaches and their approach as, as players. Uh, Lamar Stevens being a leader and John Harrod, Jamari Wheeler, those guys really, you know, understanding what we have to do, shortening practice, shortening film sessions, making sure we have fresh minds and, and fresh bodies. Really about that mental fitness, because these guys are thoroughbreds, right, physically. They're thoroughbreds. So it's about the five inches or six inches between the ears that we really got to manage. And you're trying to do that. Hey, we lost three games in a row. We lost three games in a row. So that's what it was all about. I, I do want to say one thing. I've been a little sick for the last 48 hours. I thought my staff did a phenomenal job of stepping up. I mean, I was at practice, but they ran it. And our, our leadership council did a wonderful job of preparing themselves and their teammates. Chris? Can you talk about Lamar's start and how it's kind of set the tone for you guys offensively? Yeah, the, the, there's no doubt. Uh, look, Lamar Stevens came back to win. It's not about scoring. He came back to win. Uh, I thought he, he scored early for us and got us a lead, which was important to get off to a great start here because I've been on the opposite end of that for many, many years. So it was nice to get off to a good start. They punched back, obviously took the lead. And, uh, again, Lamar made some good plays for us, but some other guys stepped up, and he rebounded the ball tonight. So when Lamar, Lamar Stevens playing like that, he's playing like an all-Big Ten player. Any other questions for Coach? Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. See you in